Hi guys, Christy here with Cake Couture Love. Thank you for joining us today. Today's video is all about how to make a rosette cake. These cakes are super pretty and actually very simple. I'm very excited to share this with you today. But before we get started, show us your support by subscribing to our channel below, following us on Facebook, Instagram, or Pinterest. And with that, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to work with a two, two inch layer cakes that are split in half. We're filling this one with buttercream. You will notice this cake is pretty soft uh, because it's fresh, uh, but you can make this step even easier by cooling your cake in the refrigerator or the freezer and it'll be much faster to work with. So with that, we're going to cover the sides and the top with buttercream. I like to use my small offset spatula for everything. This is our crumb coat. Try to match the rosette color you're going to use. I use a bench scraper to clean up the sides. And once that's done, I clean up the top with the small offset spatula. Now you'll see there is a strip of cardboard at the bottom. I'm going to cut that off. There we go. And now we're ready to start with the rosette piping bag. This is our cake board, an 18 inch piping bag that I like to use, a 1M tip. This is the secret guys to awesome rosettes. Put it in your piping bag, fill up the piping bag, prepare your board with a little bit of glue and position your cake. And now we are ready to begin. This is the fun part, guys. Position your cake on your cake board and we're ready to begin. So you take your piping bag and in the center of the bottom row, if that makes sense, start, um, push some buttercream out and go in circles. Uh, if you have gaps between the rosettes, fill it in with a curved line. Try really work to avoid straight lines because straight lines will just look out of place. So any any fill in you need to do, just make sure you stick with curved lines. And we're going to fill up the whole bottom row uh, and you can see how much buttercream this takes. So that is exactly why I like to use a really big piping bag so you don't run out as you're completing the rosettes. Now that we're done with the first row, we're gonna start in the second row. And in the second row, I want to share that it needs to be offset. So in the second row, when you offset, you actually are giving the rosette more space and it looks a lot nicer than being right on top of each other. So just make sure you offset your rosettes on the second row. And we will start with the top after we finish this sides. And this cake is actually going to be part of a two tier cake. So I like to cover the top as well, uh, but I didn't make the center perfect there. Bummer. Now, when you do the sides, try to hang over just a little bit so it matches the sides. Oh, and we're out of buttercream. Fill up your bag, I'm sure, it. I run out every time, I'm sure you will too. So just fill up your bag and keep going. But again, these cakes use up a lot of buttercream, so fill it up and use, start with a big bag and that helps with getting a really nice clean look. And you want to continue to fill up your gaps. You can see here that I like, how I like to fill in the gaps with this tip. 1M tip, guys, it's the best. So I'm going to fill everything in as well as that piece in the top here. There we go. And we're all done. And that's it, guys. This was our rosette cake. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and see you next time.